Good afternoon everyone, I'm so so sorry for the delay, I hope you can hear me well, I hope you can see me well and I hope you have a clear picture of what's going on today. Thank you so much for your patience. We are um, working extremely hard to try and improve the um, content here at Stamps By Me for you, the lovely viewers at home. And obviously that means working on electrics, lighting, lots of things that are very, very complicated as you can imagine. But thank you so much for sticking around and being patient. It is a big ask for you to stay and wait 20 minutes for us to go live. Um, but I'm sure as soon as we've got it mastered, we will be on time all the time. So hello everybody. Hi Maxine, Tracy, Charlotte, Karen, Bernadette, Sarah, Joe, Sandra, lots of you on today. And if you did have to leave, then obviously, as you know, the video always stays on YouTube. It never goes away. My name is Tony Darrick and I'm a guest presenter over on Create and Craft. And I love anything to do with stamping and colouring and anything that uh, takes my mind off everyday life. And I know that's what you guys do at home also. So if you are watching on YouTube, don't forget to click the subscribe button. This gives you all the updates, the information. There is a little HD button there too, and that gives you a better viewing experience. And we also have a fabulous website where you can go and have a nosy. We have free downloads, lots of creative creativeness there for you to get inspired and maybe pick up a brush, a pen, a pencil, a die, a stamp, and just have a go. You know, life is too short not to. And if we enjoy it and it puts a smile on our face, then we've done something good, haven't we? Um, so I'm going to show you some lovely products that I launched in my Facebook Live this morning at 11 o'clock. I'm not going to go into great depth because I do want to do some demos. I know that's why a lot of you come. But I am going to quickly do an overview because some of you are not Facebook users, which is absolutely fine. So again, thank you for your patience and waiting for us all. So in the show tomorrow I have a blockbuster on Create and Craft and one of the exciting things that I've been waiting to tell you all about for a while now, hence the reason why we've been working tirelessly to upgrade here, is because we will be doing live TV from our studio, which means I don't have to do the travelling and don't have to stay away from my family, which is more important, and I get to stay here and do everything exactly the same but from this very spot, which is uh, amazing so what we're going to do is you will send, still turn on create and craft as you would always and you will still be able to watch the channel but i'll just be studying this little spot here and we'll probably have a split screen i'm with nigel tomorrow at six o'clock in the evening so you will be able to see what's going on and i have um i'm a little bit nervous i have to admit but i've got lots to show you and we're going to have a great show hopefully and Nigel will be talking about some things and I will be talking about others but the great thing is you will still get exactly the same content and exactly the same inspiration if you were watching if I was actually at the studio there is no difference so please don't be off put by the fact that I'm not actually at TV it's a great thing for me and my family so also the great thing is as well if you don't watch create and craft the actual live show is going to be streamed on our YouTube channel which is brilliant, so Stamps By Me YouTube. So if you wanna watch the show and you're out and about and maybe you can't get Creating Craft on or you know we have alternative means of watching TV now, we're also live on YouTube at the very same time. And you can imagine the technology required to do that as well. So I'm super pleased and proud of that fact as well. So you can watch either or. And again, they stay on YouTube, they never go away. So extra inspiration for you. You can rewind, pause, go back, watch the tutorials and just enjoy them. It never goes away. So, oh, fantastic news. Yeah, everybody likes that. Brilliant. So that's one of the things that I wanted to tell you about. We're also streaming live on YouTube right now as well. And when we're on TV, we will be streaming live every single time as well. So make sure you click that subscribe button and then you'll get the notification every time. So maybe you miss a show or maybe you haven't been able to tune into Live Studio and miss the fact that I am going to be on TV. If you click that little bell, you'll get a notification wherever you are. So you never miss a show. But if you don't want to watch, don't click that subscribe button. <laughs> I'm going to be live quite a lot. So I just wanted to show you the lovely products that are in the show. 
Um, because we're late, I'm going to speed through them. You get to see them in more depth tomorrow. I have some fabulous boards. My samples arrived today from the lovely design team girls and tomorrow. So I'll have plenty of inspiration for you all. So the first three things I'm going to show you are the stamp and dies. What I did in um, my Facebook Live today was I showed you what I thought was bundles. I got it wrong. No surprise, hey. But I'm going to show you correct now. So if you missed um, the show earlier, it's going to be no different. And if you did watch the 11 o'clock show, I'm going to show you right this time. So first of all, we have this lovely Sending Smiles. And this is a lovely, lovely stamp. Now, you will probably notice florals, as most... But the sentiments are so, so different this time. So they're like a balloon effect. So they stamp like balloons. It's just one stamp and it gives the appearance of a balloon. You have your super large, large botanical sketch, if you wish. And then the little spot here indicates we have a coordinating die. So when you turn it over, you have the outline die for the image. And then you get the beautiful mat and lash. You do want to put some coloured cardstock behind. So that's that one. Yep, yeah, Joe. Joe pattern that's correct more time with mummy at home I'm super 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 excited about it because even if it's a 45 minute show it's a 10 hour shift by the time we've been in our car done the traveling have to be at studio two hours before so you know it's a great relief that I'm able to just walk into a studio that is already built and fit for purpose for tv anyway is incredible so we have better with you and as you can see Different but similar. This one's heavily shaded, this one's lightly shaded. So all you need to do is follow the lines if you're painting with your watercolours, your pens, your pencils and things like that. The great thing about this one though is the sentiments, again, very different for Stamps By Me. I wanted to do something a little bit different this time. So you couldn't be more awesome and it's like a typewriter sort of feel but a very modern typewriter feel. So that's the second one. So we have this one and this one. And then lastly, we have Joy in Every Day, and this is beautiful. And this is going to work seamlessly with your DL cards if you want to, but obviously you can break them up and do as you please, corner to corner, heat embossing, gorgeous. And then the lovely sentiments, which are a chunky one, which is a little bit different on there. So today is a day you bring joy to our lives. What a lovely, lovely sentiment. Find joy in the ordinary and wishing joy today. And again the lovely dies and the fabulous QR code, which is going to get you to that tuition. I'll be able to stay in my own family bubble, which I love. I do love my family bubble. So let's show you um, one of the things that is on TV tomorrow on its own. So this is a just a simple die set, um, but it's very, very different. It has this 3D element here with the butterfly. I'm hoping this is showing but you have the opportunity to leave it in the card or take it out of the card. So you have this one. We have Sparkle with All Your Heart. Now you can paper piece this back in and the little dots punch into the paper so you have that embossed detail in there too. And then we have Be Yourself which you can leave in the card or you can use the outline die to take it out of the card. And these are the sorts of looks that you're going to be able to achieve with this particular one. Now, be mindful that you will have to pop the little pieces into the B's and to the R's, but it's no great shake. The, the card that you're gonna create is gonna be awesome and well worth your time and effort. So I'm loving this one and this one's already been selling. So as always with Stamps By Me, you can buy the products from us as individuals. They're on the website now, but I do encourage you to wait until the live show tomorrow because Create and Craft add that extra 10% if you are a club member, sometimes even more, so you can get some incredible, incredible deals. Oh, so the next one we have is, so this is a bundle of four. Don't think I'm going to get it all in set. Oh, oh, in fact, I will all get it all in. How cool is that? So let's just move that out of the way. So we then have these lovely, unique sort of aperture effects here. Can we see these here? Love this one. Obviously, me and my regular heart by hand. And then we get the sunflower, the lilies and the lattice. And you can create cards. They have the stitched or pinprick detail across the top. They can create cards in themselves. They can come out of the cards if you want to. You can paper piece ink, sunset, heat embossing, absolutely beautiful. And then it just shows you on the back of each packet how, if you want to create that pretty, pretty card blank. So you will have seen when we've done these in stencil form, very similar to these and you absolutely love them. So I know you're gonna love the die form of them. 
But don't forget, even if they are dyes, you can still use them as stencils, which is amazing. So let's just move these ones out of the way. So that is a bundle. So that's bundle two. And then we have the last bundle, which is your butterflies, dragonflies and bumblebee. So personal preference, don't tell me you're all going to get them all. There is no need to get them all. <laughs> um, I'm obviously not going to talk you out of it, but really you can buy just one if you'd like just the one. So we have the lovely dragonfly. Imagine acetate, glitter, 3D the wings. I've got some fab demos with these ones. Build them up, 3D them. The bumblebee paper piece back in, should you wish. But again, same concept, stitch, spots within the cardstock there. You see those there? And the fabulous QR code is going to take you to all the tuition of my demos that I've prepped. So Nathan will work through those for you, so you will always have the inspiration. Okay, Pat, we will see you later. So let's get these out of the way. So they're in show tomorrow. You'll be able to catch lots of inspiration using those and hopefully you'll see something you like. In today's studio we are going to do some soulful and I'm going to use a fabulous cabin, a lot of you have been asking about that. What you'll find now with our products is you get the free download so you can go and see the step-by-step -step tuition if you want to, they're on the downloads down the left hand side of our website. Okay so if you do like like ABC tuition then that is absolutely there for you. Uh, but if you click into a specific product, if I've done a video for it, it will be linked to that product as well. So rather than just saying I want, um, you can always go and have a look at the product, watch me do the video and understand and know if you're going to like it. And then you can buy it should you wish. And if you're thinking, do you know what, I don't think that's for me, then you don't buy it. But the inspiration is there to help and guide you make the decision when you're making those necessary purchases. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Soulful and I'm going to use the Fabulous Cabin. So it's this one here and I'm also going to do some Invisible Ink if I've got time because obviously we were 20 minutes late but I will do my absolute best. So I'm going to show you the concept of the Soulful collection and then I'll well, show you the concept of our Invisible Ink. Now I've only showed you one of the pads for Invisible Ink. There are two and I will show you the second today and they are due any time. And they're going to be fabulous. You're all waiting patiently for them. Yeah, so you can use the dies from the show as um, stencils, but you do will need a cutting machine to cut the template. However, you can stencil through the die. Just make sure that when you um, put ink through them, you clean them off. But then again, I'm thinking to myself, why would you buy a die without a machine? That would be crazy when stencils are inexpensive. So unfortunately, I don't think you'd be able to use them as stencils if you don't have a die cutting machine, unfortunately. So yes, we'll be streaming on our live YouTube channel on our own Stamps By Me. So whether you watch on Create and Craft or Stamps By Me, it will be live. Firstly, let's get some cardstock here. So I'm going to do some uh, this cabin onto some watercolour card because I think I get better results with this. And although I'm not using the Eureka, I am going to stamp onto the Eureka because the Eureka is soft underneath and it's going to enable me to get a nice image. I know some of you are still figuring out Soulful. Is it for you? Is it not? But the results are amazing and you do... Um, get different results every time you use them. So I'm going to use this lovely cabin here and this is the big one and I'm going to create a lovely scene. So if you have a look at the soulful range you will see we have a gate, we have uh, a fence, we have a watering can and a bucket and things like that but today we're going to use this lovely cabin on here. Technology is brilliant Roseanne, it's very true. So I'm just going to do a very quick, very very quick cabin. Shem, well what we'll do is we'll put a blossom tree behind too, make it very summery, albeit we're not in summer anymore are we? We'll use our lovely tree and we'll put some blossom on there too. So with Soulful you'll see you've got all your solid elements here to create grass, flowers, leaves on trees, so so much. So use a variation of shapes. You're going to need some watercolour pens, some watercolours, some pencils and you're going to need a pot of water. Okay. For these um, specific stamps, I'm going to use my um, Soulful 
acrylic blocks. They come in sets. I'm not sure if we do have any in stock, but you will have acrylic blocks from back in the day. Um, so all I'm going to do is I'm just going to get these little ones out so I can get the foliage on there and I can do first and second generation stamping and things like that. So you can see a whole host of acrylic blocks. I'm just going to set them to the side here. So first of all, I'm going to stamp my lovely cabin. Just move my tree for now. And I'm going to use a nice brown colour. So it looks like he's been in the woods for a while. So I'm going to use my gossip pens. These are my watercolour pens, but have, use what you've got in your stash. If you haven't got any watercolour pens, you might like ours, but you might have some in your stash already that you've invested in and love, so use those. So I'm just going to basically use my pen. I'm just going to brush it across the stamp on its side, get that colour down. And then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp my lovely cabin. Shall we just go middle? Let's go middle. and we get our lovely cabin in the centre there. Then all I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my brush with my water and with a wet brush, not saturated because you'll just lose the detail in your image. Take the water out of your brush and basically just soften those lines. So I'm just dragging that colour from that pen. Now if you don't have like pens and things like that, maybe think about your distress inks and things like that because they also work too. So. I'm just running my semi-dry brush over that colour and you can see it's picking some of that colour up and it's dragging it across and it's making it look like a really realistic watercolour image. So I always take the excess water off. Sandra, the pads will be available soon, we're just waiting on them. As soon as they land you will, guys will be the first to know. So you can see there we've sort of softened those lines, absolutely nothing fancy at all. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another brown here, just going to scratch some of the brown onto this um, acrylic block here. And I'm just going to pick up some of that colour and I'm just going to add a little bit more in some of the areas just to highlight. Now you could highlight with some greys, some greens to create the appearance of moss, shadows. Just have fun with it. It's, you know, there are no rules. It's a piece of paper. If you do it wrong, put it in the bin, do it again. So I'm quite happy with that little cabin there. It looks quite pretty. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this off our block here. And I'm just going to grab some of the little flowers. You need, you can't use your alcohol markers because they don't work with water, sweetheart. It has to be something that's water-based. Uh, if you try and do it with the alcohol markers, it will not work. And it will frustrate you that it won't work and it will not be your fault. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some like foliage around under this window, around here, create a bit of moss. So I'm going to pick some of the designs from this piece here so you can see. So I'm going to go for... This one here, well, let's go with, pop it on my mat here. Let's go with green. So pen on its side, and then all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pop, oh, just gonna pop some green in and around the bottom here. And I'm just gonna keep stamping till the color, so there's no color left on here. Okay, so. You see that there? Like so. So before I change into any colour, I'm just going to take my lovely brush, wet it, take the excess water off. I'm just going to pounce in with a bit of water, drag it out a little bit, and I'm just going to drag that colour out 
and soften those lines but if you use a really really wet brush what will happen is you'll absolutely lose all of the detail and we're not trying to lose all of the detail we're just softening those lines so let's add some pretty colors in here shall we so let's pick a different shape and that will give definition so let's go with maybe let's go with this one and this is where you're going to have fun just swapping and changing the images playing around seeing what works what doesn't I think is Paul on Paul's on isn't he I can't see at the moment because of the lights but Paul is um, on our Eureka fan page and he is incredible at composition getting this so if you are thinking do you know I could do a little bit of inspiration well just go and check out Paul's work on our page so I'm just going to swap that pink because it's a little bit bright I think that's quite right either so oops. go for a softer one see what happens if we lose it I'll change back to the dark one so I'm just popping some pink in and around can we see that there <laughs> I'm just going to pop some underneath this window here as if it's climbing up that window see there I'm going to use a pale pink lilac color here I'm going to add some lilac in there this is going to be a summer summer house with lots of color like so can we see that there so let's do the necessary let's get rid of those harsh lines and make it look like a true watercolor painting yes we are using DPD I'm not sure who's asked that question uh, we are using DPD we're hoping we get a better experience and you as the customer does too so DPD will be used for orders over £50 though, and this is going to enable you to be able to track and things like that and it's going to keep us in the loop as to where people's parcels are because there's nothing more frustrating than a customer saying where's my parcel and we're saying we've got no idea um, because of the service that we're using so we've improved it in that sense so hopefully we'll get a better service all round for all of us. So let's use the lovely tree. So let's pop the tree in here. Now, let's show we pop the tree behind the cabin so it looks like it's coming up out of the cabin there. Now, let's pick a brown. Brilliant delivery service, Christine. Thank you. Need Paul to sit on your shoulder. I'm, you'll have to, you'll have to message him. I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure he'll help, but I'm not sure he'll go as far as uh, sitting on your shoulder. <laughs> so I'm using the same colour brown because really that's all I have on my table here. I do have two tones, but they are pretty similar. So if you look, I've inked out there. If I go and stamp that there, I'm going to get the tree through my window. So I'm just going to remove the base of the tree with my finger. Remove that ink. And then we're going to pop this tree a bit more, maybe take a bit more away. We'll pop the tree as if it's popping up here, look. You see that there? Shall we pop a little tree here too? So I've got two trees in our picture look which is beautiful and honestly you can create the biggest or the smallest scene you absolutely want there it's incredible really and you will honestly look down and be crafting and then the next thing you're going to be looking up and it's going to be like oh I forgot to feed the kids or <laughs> things like that or I forgot to eat so let's get some of these lovely um, leaf shapes on here. So let's go a different green to what's on the base. Let's go a brighter green this time. 
So now basically I'm just going to pop some foliage onto my tree. Can we see that there? We're just going to start filling out and I'm going to use some lovely greens and hopefully I'll be able to add a little bit of blossom. And you can do blossom as if it's falling out of the tree onto the ground. So get that first, that third, second, that third generation out of your stamp if you can. So we're just filling out our trees here. And then the creative part, albeit this is creative, the creative part comes at the end when you start dragging the colour out and, you know, maybe putting a path at the, at the front if you want to or, you know, mixing it up with the other ones and putting a gate in front of your house because they're all built with perspective so they're all going to work together. And these blocks are super, super light and thin as well. So I'm not worried about, you know, having something heavy in my hand. It's giving me real ease to, you know, get that colour. So there's the green, which I'm going to drag out first with my brush. I'm just going to pound some of that colour. And I'm going to drag some of that green up into the areas where I haven't actually stamped either. Remember, your brush cannot be saturated because you will lose the shape of those leaves. Okay, see that there? Pull a bit of that colour down there and then pounce on here too. So I'm just filling them out a little bit because they wouldn't be so sparse, but I'm running out of time. So I'm filling them out myself with pouncing my brush. And then we're just going to add some pink for a little bit of blossom. I'm going to change the shape out for a different shape this time. Hopefully we'll get some blossom shape. There we go. It's a lovely soft one is this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the blossom as if it's coming onto the front of the house. You know, as if it's, because albeit it's the tree is behind, everything would fall, wouldn't it, on the front of the house too, if it was right behind the house. I don't think this pink is quite dark enough, but it's soft enough just to give a suggestion. So let's just start to bring it all together now. So let's just bring in the brown that I popped onto my mat here. Let's ground the house. So let's add a little bit of. Let's just get everything a little bit grounded. Like so, we have a little, add a little bit into here, look. In the set also, you do get some like grassy effects as well, that look like grass standing up. So I'm just going to pop some grass as if, you know, we have used that lawn mower, but we couldn't quite get it around that tree. And I'm using a different shade of green here. Do you see those lines now? Come into the front of this here. We'll just soften that a little bit. So I'm just going to pounce, make sure my brush is not saturated because I will.
and I think I'll leave it there so we can move on to invisible ink. So there we have a lovely little cabin. You could put a blue wash behind the cabin as well if you wanted to create a like sky effect or something like that. Put some pebbles in for the um, doorway down the front. You know, you could extend the design. One thing I do want to show you those is you can pick up these little inexpensive frames from like the stores that we know about and you can maybe frame like part of your image. So if you are thinking about a gift for a loved one. Let's just move it over, keep going, keep going, maybe, see, hide them, there we go. If you're thinking about a gift for a loved one, something that says thinking about you, across the bottom, I've missed you, think about things like that. You could mount that onto the front of a card too. These are really ex inexpensive and it really gives a realistic feel to your watercolours too. So, you know, just give it a go. Maybe it's for you, maybe it's not, but we do a whole host of um, different crafts here at Stamps By Me. We do like to play and the encouragement is to get your stash out and play with whatever you've purchased already. And if you do like the products then you can buy the products should you wish, but I'm guaranteed if you haven't got the products you will have something in your stash that's going to work. So let's just have a look. Is everybody okay? We're having a lovely show so far. Great gift idea, I agree. I want a cottage like that in the woods, me too. So I have a couple of questions. I'm using watercolour card for that one. I used our card to watercolour card, but if you've got ca uh, watercolour card at home, that works. Stick with it. It just gives a better result. It does work on normal cardstock, but it's not as effective. So it depends what you've got in your stash. Are the stamps in the right proportions with each other? Yeah. So if you have a look at the other designs, we have some small. We have like a gate. So you have two sizes. So it all depends on whether you are doing background, foreground. The gate's going to be the focal point. We have a, a um, seat, like an elongated seat in there too, which you could put the trees behind. So they should all work in conjunction with one another. I hope that helps, Michelle. Don't know how to put things into perspective. Maybe I will try and do a video on perspective for you. I might have one already. I'll, ha I'll give that a think. So are the invisible ink pads 8x8? They are 8x8. So let's just quickly show you invisible ink because as much as I um, love my studio, as you all know, because we're so late, I have a boy to collect. But it's okay, we have time. So let's just pop all of our things back on our carrier sheet. Make sure you pop them all back. Make sure you look after them because, you know, they're not just a throwaway thing. You'll be using these all, well, I'd like to say you'll be using them all the time. Maybe, maybe not. But at least the QR code's there for you to keep getting that inspiration as well. So let's just swap things out a little bit. So for those of you who haven't seen Invisible Ink, basically, it's a brand new concept for us here at Stamps By Me. And if I'm completely honest, some of you may call me otherwise, I don't think I've ever seen the concept before. And I'll show you exactly what I'm referring to. So yes, you can buy colouring books and yes, you can have the sketch lines in there and they will enable you or guide you with your colouring techniques. These are completely different and I'll show you what I mean. So when I um, put these together, you will see when you open the pad here, the designs in here are pretty much non-existent. They are in like a, a tone on tone effect. Can we see that there? I hope, yeah, you can see. Uh, basically, when you put colour onto these, you get instant light and shade, which instantly makes you look like the artist. Now, I've had so many emails about these. TV are so excited about these. You're all excited about them. And I'm so pleased because this was just a light bulb moment. I was having a moment thinking about something and me and Tom were playing um, with the ink where you put the water on and the picture comes through. And I thought, well, that is too babyfied for me to um, bring as a product for us here at Stamps By Me. But how can we make it better? How can we, you know, encourage people to pick up that brush and create artwork where they are putting the colour down themselves? It's going to lead on to other things, isn't it? It's a starting point. So you get the designs in here and you're thinking, well, I'm not sure what I'd do with those. So you can see they're quite muted. You've got instant light and shade in them. So you get a variation of designs. You get some... Um, blossoms, some focal points, some wreaths in there and you're thinking well how does that work? Firstly let me just point out that the reason they're not 
bound in the book is because a lot of the time when we try and take our pages out we're tear and it's frustrating and I honestly feel that we don't want them to tear because they're going to go in frames shadow boxes and you're going to make them look like you've painted them so I don't want the tear so they are just sat in this lovely uh, heavyweight wallet so you'll be able to save them so all you're going to do is you're just going to follow the painting guide on the back and you're going to add the colour yourself and I did do one of these in live show and I will show you So this was the one that I did in live show not so long ago. So I just added the colour. The light and shade instantly comes through as soon as you add the colour, simply because of the tones underneath. It's incredible. I haven't seen anything like this. Um, never have I seen anything like this. And it makes you look like, does it not look like I painted that? Yes. And then I stamped an image on there. I've added some sparkle and then I pop it in a frame good to go loved ones gifts things like that so this is the one that i did on air and i will drop a link under the picture on my facebook page if anybody does want to watch it and check it out since then though i've also done this one which i did myself so all i did was i just followed the image on the back can you see that there I just followed it i just looked at match the colors with my pen not with my pens i did it with my palette but i just tried to match the color i don't think that's a bad effort do you I think that's incredible. Nobody would ever know there was something underneath that. And then today, this morning, I did this one, which is this one. I just added the colour on top. So super, super exciting. And I will try and get a few more done. So that's that paper pad, which most of you have seen and are super excited about. But I want to show you pad number two, albeit you haven't had pad number one yet. I want to show you pad number two. So let's just set these aside. Super exciting. And I know when you all email me and message me saying, how creative is that? I've never seen anything like that before. That is amazing. I'm going to be able to do X, Y, and Z. I know I've, I know I've done something amazing. It puts a big smile on the face if you haven't gathered. So let's have a look. I do know the sentiment that was on there is out of stock, unfortunately, but it's coming back. We have reordered it. So don't worry about that. And you will know when I know. Can't wait for these. Oh, brilliant. I'm so pleased you're excited about them. So then we've got the second one here, which is different again. And the next ones after this, we're doing some A4 ones. So you'll have a big landscape or portrait picture, which you can frame and give to a family, you know. Exciting. Who's, who's getting these for, for gifts from me this year? Everybody. <laughs> so I'm just quickly showing, see if I can hold this one up, because this one's a little bit difficult see but you can just see the detail in there this is like a blossom one so in the set you get eight by eight paper pad it's six designs and there's 18 pages okay so you can get a practice sheet and if you want to copy the back you can copy the back if your courage grows change the colors do another one in a different color you know the encouragement is that even if you change the colors it's still going to look incredible so we have that one we have this one here on its side and i'll show you the back in a second to show you what they're going to we have some birds. I know you love them or you hate them. I, I love them. What beautiful birds on there, on a stud on a blossom branch. Then we have corner to corner. So if you want to stamp a sentiment in the center there, um, and we've tried to do variation of design. So stamping in the center, beefs and things like that. And then we have one coming from the side. So should you want to put that in a shadow box? So let me just show you what is in Sorry, what they look like if you follow the back. You can see there. So with this one, you could put your invited birds there. So if you want to copy the birds, you can. This is the one on its side. This is the corner to corner. This is the one on the left. So we have this one and we have this one. So two to go out there, ladies and gents. These are coming very, very soon. I'm so, so excited. So what I'm going to do is I've done this one. I've shown you I've done this one. And I've done this one this morning. So now I'm going to do this one. Okay, so let's set this aside. Um, as soon as I land, I will let you all know that we could, I say we could, we wouldn't. We don't like to put anything on pre-order because we appreciate people change their minds, things like that. So we only ever sell something that's in the building, which is good really. So until it's in the building, I can't sell you it because I don't want to take your money. 
I won't take your money. No, I don't. I don't want to take your money until it's actually in the building and I can get it straight out the door to you. So I'm going to use my lovely watercolours and what I'm going to do is, because we're running out of time, such a shame, never mind. I'm going to use, I'm just going to do this one here on the right. So to help me, I'm going to get my pad. I'm just going to pop it out the side of me so I can follow it. Um, and then if I, my confidence grows and I want to move away from pink and I want to do them in teal next time, on the next one, I'll do them in teals. So I'll just set this aside a little bit. Don't look at the state of my, part, of my paints. So I can see here straight away we've got this lovely like co pale corally pinky colour here. So I'm just going to mix up some of that pinky colour in my palette here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to paint on top of what is already there. Okay, it's not, it's really, really not difficult. And what will happen is the light and shade will come through and make it look like you've changed your colours. It will make you look like you've um, done light and shade with your watercolours when really you haven't. It's one layer. But if you do want to add light and shade and drop a little bit of colour into the wet image, you can do that also. So let's just colour this bud here very, very quickly. So I'm just popping this pink. I'm just colouring that whole area there, look. And I can see from the picture it has a little bit of orange in the base of it. So I'm going to take a little bit of orange. And it's really going to encourage you to move beyond. I'm just going to drop a little bit of orange in there because I can see it's got a little bit of orange in that bud there. I'm just going to pound some in there like so and I'm going to leave it. That's one bud done. It's really going to encourage you to pick up that brush. So it is, it's daunting, particularly if you've got to draw the image yourself. And that's one of the um, reasons why a lot of people do not do it because they have to pick up that brush sorry, they have to pick up that pencil initially to draw the image. People don't want to do it, and I understand that. So I'm here to problem solve. I like to solve a good problem, I really do. So as you can see, I'm just popping this pink on top of this design. And there's um, another bud there, so let's pop a little bit of orange. So it's like a corally pink I'm using today. Let's just pop that on there too. So they're all the pink little pieces there. So I'm going to turn my artwork around and I'm going to focus on this one here. And I'm just going to colour the whole of this flower. And I'm just following the outline, getting that colour down. I'm going to paint over that dark part in the middle because it looks like it's got a bit of black and a bit of orange, which is fine. So I'm not, I'm not going off the design, I'm not going rogue, as some would say. I'm absolutely just sticking to the design today to show you how simple it is. So there's a little bit of orange I can see just in the centre there. So I've just picked a little bit of that orange up and I've just, not too much, just going to pop a little bit of orange in the centre there. Just have a look, yep, a little bit of orange there. And it looks to me like there is a little bit of orange up in this corner here. Just pop a bit of orange in there. So I'm copying the design, design for design, if that makes sense. Absolutely taking inspiration from the back. And I think we'll leave that one there. Is there any orange in any of the others? Whilst it's on my brush, I am going to add a little bit of orange to the others. So again, get some more pink. And let's do this large one here. Um, Charlotte, I cannot see why we wouldn't do a smaller design. I think what we'll do is we try these designs first and then we've got the A4 and then absolutely we will try some smaller designs if that will help. Maybe we could do smaller designs for postcards and things like that. Hey, that would be cool. So I'm literally just following that undertone there with the pink, dropping that pink on there. You see there? Very, very easy and very, very stunning, in my opinion. I absolutely love this. I do shock myself sometimes, you know. <laughs> so I'm just going to take some of that lovely orange, and I can see there's a little bit of orange in there too, so pop some of that orange in there. 
Is there any orange anywhere else? No, it doesn't look so. Fill out these little buds here. I think I'm good to go to pop that orange there, a little bud, maybe a little bud here. My son's been doing these with me, albeit he hasn't been able to stay quite within the lines, but it really looks good. It really looks good. You would never know. So let's get some green in here. Mix up that little bit of green. Let's just turn my design back around. I think I'm doing the top corner. I don't want to confuse. So tomorrow I'm on at six o'clock. So just go to, to go to create and craft as if you were going to any other time. And I'm on tomorrow at six o'clock. Also across the bottom, I'm hoping you're seeing what I'm seeing. It's all brand new. There are the times across the bottom of the um, screen, if you're looking at it now. The collection is called Stronger Than Before, and there are the times for you. So make a note of them. Hopefully that has helped. I'm hoping you're seeing what I'm seeing. <laughs> so let's go and add the green. So I'm just following that line. Now, if you haven't got a small brush with a small nib, you might need to invest in one. You don't have to invest in a, an expensive one, but, you know, invest in one which is small, far or below, and that will really help you get in with the detail on these designs. So on this design here, I'm painting this green in, but I can see there is a white spot in there, and I can see in that leaf there, there is a white spot, so I'm going to leave that white spot. And if I want to go a little bit darker, you can go on top, add some more, make it pop, make it as bright as you want to. No rules. So let's go in and add the green in here. And I'm just literally painting over the detail that's there already. I'm not creating my own design. I'm following the design exactly how it is on here it coming together does it look good guys the paints are on their way as soon as they land I will let you know they are on their way um, does it look good <laughs> so just turn my design around so I can um, get closer to it so we have a lovely green one here and here I would probably say if you're a little bit scared and you're thinking, oh, do it light. And then you can always add the colour. If you go too dark, you can't take it away, but go light first. And then what's what we've got going on here? Loving it. Looks good, doesn't it? Yeah. I'm, I love it. It's so therapeutic as well. So I'm just following that detail on there too. So, and the other ones, which are just in the background, just a little bit lighter, I'm going to go, I am going to go a little bit rogue here because the grey on here, which is black, obviously diluted right back. But so you can see it on camera, I'm just going to go a little bit of a blue tone. Nothing fancy. Just so you can see it really. And I'm just going to follow that line down. So if you see a little white dot, it means leave me alone. White space is our key. And then, let me just see where I'm at here. This part here, so just turn this around. Let's make it a little bit darker. And if you don't quite hit the design and some of the design comes through, it looks like you've just done it in two-tone. Let's have a look what's going on there. So another one there, look. And there's some here. So you're basically you're just going in and filling all that design. If you want to leave some of the natural sepia tone underneath, it won't look silly. It really will not look silly. So if you think, oh, I don't do any more, I'm really pleased with it. You know what it's like when you've done something you're quite proud of and you're thinking, do you know what, if I do anything else to it now, I'm going to spoil it. Stop. 
just stop. So when I'm leaving those little white spots, it's not me leaving the spots. It's not my creative mind that's saying there should be a spot there. The spot is there for you. Um, and then on this one, we just have the lines look. It's just in lines. So I'm just going to drop the line in. It's not a full leaf, it's just a line. And then lastly, Let's add this black in. I've not used my black before. And it looks like it's lines and spots. So where the spots, I'm going to pop the spots in. Now I'm going random with the spots because they are very small. Can you see that there? And it dries back lighter, so don't put yourself under pressure thinking, oh, I've gone and ruined it now. So I'm just following those little black, they're like poppy seed spots in the centre there. And then pop those lines in. Sorry about the head. Just looking at the design to see if I need to add any more. And then on these light like, buds here, we have some orange like spots coming out, which I'm going to fill. There we go, I'm going to leave that and I would add the signature splats to make it look like more of my work rather than a dupe. So do we like that? Let's have a look, sorry questions, that's because I'm having so much fun. So are the semi-moist point paints in stock? They're not at the moment, they are on their way. I will let you know. The pads are going to be on Create and Craft soon as well, yep, and you can buy from me as individuals as always and Create and Craft will probably bundle them and give you an incredible price too. They are going to be super affordable, I've made sure of that one. So here are just a few of the lovely ones, some with stamped images, sorry stamped sentiments and some um, just left as is that can go straight into shadow boxes. But this is 8 by 8 so you could trim this down and mount this onto a card and it would look incredible. But you can see the difference in design. Super bright, pale, blues and greens, sort of like a sketchier feel, uh, a, fuller, a, a fuller feel with bigger leaves. It's just absolutely incredible. I can't wait for you all to get your hands on these. They're going to be amazing. Thank you all for tuning in. I'm going to have to dash. I hope you like what we've done here in studio. There are more improvements coming. So we will be really, really professional and we will have so much to show you and so much inspiration. This is a lovely place to be. So please tell all your friends, let them know that we are on the YouTube channel most of the time with lots of good stuff. So I'll see you all later. Have a lovely evening, guys, whatever you're doing. I'll see you tomorrow, six o'clock. Take care. Bye.